Okay, now we are going to learn E major scale. First thing again, identify what are the sharps for E major. For right hand, it will be this two and this two. So it will be this four sharp, F sharp, G sharp, C sharp, and D sharp. So for E major, I'll play right hand first, followed by left hand. Fingering is 3-4-3-4. Three, four, three, four. Always think of the fingering before you start. Same for left hand. F sharp, G sharp, C sharp, D sharp. Okay, three four three four also for left hand. We will need to do both hands as well. For both hands, remember we'll turn on the right hand first on three. After you turn finish, finish the thumb, then you turn your left hand to third. Then finish already, you turn to thumb again and repeat this whole process and you turn to four. All those go up. Okay. Do it once for you. only have similar motion. Now we will do our pages for E major. Just now, when we look at E major, we will have this two sharp and this two sharp. Our pages only play on three notes. First note, third note, and the fifth note. So for right hand, the fingering will be spread out one, two, three. Remember these three notes. You are supposed to press 1, 2, 3. Visualize it on the top octave and make sure you press this 1, 2, 3 again when you turn to the thumb. And end with a fifth finger. And when you turn back, you make sure you turn back to this 1, 2, 3. Okay. Aim for E when you turn to this. And then the next note will be G sharp. Reach for the G sharp again. Same for left hand. There will be three notes that you are playing, but you'll be using five, three, two. So when you play, you make sure when you turn these three notes. Is being aimed for at the higher octave. And when you turn back, you have to aim for these three notes again. I'll demonstrate one time. For E major, we do the arpeggios separately, so there's no need to play together for both hands. Recall, E major have how many sharps? Four sharps. It will be That's all for E major.